will never recover my dignity after this, will I? <sighs> Three goblins in a trench coat. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of bad joke. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice of you to say. I'm Angie. I mean, you know that. I'm just saying... <sighs> this is the real me. I'm a goblin. Yeah, always have been, you know. How's the weather down there? And ordering off the kids' menu. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not some tall, beautiful orc. <laughs> I, um... I didn't think I'd trick you or get away with it or anything like that. There's not that many of the people, you know, goblins in town. Dating can be pretty hard. Given my preferences, most people take a look at me and it's a hard no. And with the rest... <sighs> I'm just sort of that goblin over there. <laughs> I had a dating account before Cherry made one for me. And the difference between the two was just night and day. I could be flirty or funny or whatever. And it wasn't just short jokes and invites to gangbangs. I, uh, I like the way you made me feel when you were talking to me. And we'd already put off meeting for so long. I was afraid you were going to catch on or I'd have to ghost you. And I wasn't ready for you to walk right back out of my life. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you I really did. Is there any chance you could look past all of this for a second and... <laughs> no. No, I'm not. Not beautiful. I mean, I can go for cute goblins, can be cute, and I did straighten my hair and, and put on my big girl makeup, but honestly, I just wore some comfy clothes, so really it's kind of a bleh look, which is like so weird, because I spent like two hours on my neck and up, and I bet I look like a clown, and honestly, I wish I could pull off the tomboy look like Tori with the no makeup makeup, but here I am, and I can't even pull off cute because I was expecting to be about three feet taller. So this eyeshadow is now completely ridiculous and I don't even have heels on. <laughs> no, I... <sighs> Sorry, really. You don't have to say that. I can't be. <laughs> I'm not. Beautiful. <sighs> Gosh, I just got a shiver. It's kind of brisk out here, isn't it? My coat doesn't really fit anymore. <laughs> really, I can't. <laughs> you know, you're very insistent. Fine, I'll take your scarf. How do you wrap this? It's practically big enough to be a toga for me. It's still so warm from your skin, though. I like it. It's very nice of you, actually. I feel much better. Hmm. What? Uh, no. I didn't just smell your scarf. Come on. Come on, who would do that? Hey, uh, I was wondering if we could walk down to the lake and maybe watch the fireworks? If it's okay if you don't want to. I'm still too short for the roller coaster, but we could probably... Oh, you do want to see the fireworks. Well, okay then. You probably haven't seen the big show before since you just moved here, but it's something special. Me, my parents, all my brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and cousins would all climb into the camper van and we'd park over there on that hill and have a barbecue. And we'd run the place rampant, eating all kinds of food and playing tag in the House of Mirrors. And we'd hear those first pops and run back up the hill. And we'd sit up there and watch all together. I remember all those people crowded around the lake for a better look. And Ma always told me to stay up on the hill. Because with all those tall folk, I'd never be able to see anything. I'm not worried about that now. 
I'll hang out with you. And so what if I miss a few lights? Oh yeah, the boats. Some people rent them out. Go out on the lake itself. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, um, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> sure, we could do that. Wow, I'm feeling all the things right now. Just don't let me drown, okay? I wasn't planning on falling in, no. I, um, I would prefer it if you could possibly lift me up and place me in the boat. I'm a little nervous about stepping down from the dock. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> that was something. Thank you. You sure you don't want me to row? <laughs> You're right. If we both had oars, we'd probably just go around in circles. Have you done this before? You look like you know what you're doing. Uh, we're going a little fast, actually. <sighs> Thanks for slowing down. This is nice. If you want, you could just paddle around a little while while we wait. Or maybe we could find a spot for the show. We could kind of go in the middle of the lake with all the other boats. Or there's some tall reeds over there if you want a little privacy. It's whatever, you know. I guess I just wanted to say thanks for being so cool. I promise I will never catfish you or anyone else ever again. Don't know what it is about you, but it makes it seem like the differences between us don't matter that much. I just wish I'd been more honest with you from the start. Hmm. This is a nice spot. Better than being around all those people. Our own little corner of the lake for a private show. Whoa, don't rock the boat. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I bet it'll be nice to lay down and watch the fireworks instead of getting the stiff neck staring straight up. I wish I could lay down too. No, I'm not really long enough to do that between the benches. I'd have nothing to rest my head on. Oh, uh, I mean, I could just sit next to you if I'm careful and don't throw us both in the mud. Maybe I could lay down too. I just need to, you know, find something to lean against. Oh, oh, that's your arm. That is your arm around my waist. It's fine. It's fine. I'm uh, having a bit of a moment here. I swear I'm not this kind of girl, but could I lay down on your shoulder? Okay, okay. Wow, I think this works. That is a very nice arm, by the way. I just sort of fit in the crook of it. And filling your shirt is way better than getting chills from the lake breeze. <laughs> Do you think... <gasps> They're starting. <sighs> oh, I will never get bored of this. Every rocket is like a disaster waiting to happen burning, rising, and when it does happen, it's not a disaster, it's perfect. Like a miracle every time. Beautiful. So beautiful. Do you think maybe things happen for a reason? Hey. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Oh. Oh, yes. <gasps> Could this last forever? Mm. Yes, hold the small of my back. Hold me to you. Mm, do you mind if I touch your face on me? Oh, <laughs> mm. 
can see the fireworks reflected in your eyes. It's the most amazing thing. <laughs> Thank you for everything. I guess it had to end. Uh, I'm sorry, the girls are waiting in the car. They're my ride home and I guess I can't keep them waiting. Could, um, could you walk me to the car at least? Maybe you could come over. It's not that late and I feel like the second I say goodbye, the magic spell will break and I'll turn back into a pumpkin. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, Angie. I have never felt a hand this big before. Am I really doing this? When I was held, I felt so small. What if I'm not enough? I heard humans were different. What if I don't know what to do? What if we try to go fast? Oh god, my heart's beating like crazy. Why can't I be excited instead of scared? <laughs> Cherry would know what to do. Maybe we could go back to the house and I could ask her. Even Tori would be a good buffer. Oh my goodness, I forgot to count seatbelts, and I already offered. Maybe I could ride home in their lap, with those arms wrapped around me again. Mm. I'm glad you came in with me. This is my room. And thanks for putting up with all of the grilling from my roommates. <laughs> they mean well, even if they're kind of wild and... Yeah. But I just want to thank you for a second, now that we're alone. I feel like all of this was kind of a lot, and I guess... I wanted to say I'm sorry it got so weird. I've done a lot of stupid stuff trying to get you to notice me. Online and, and the carnival and now. Do you like me? Like, at all? Wow, thanks. Oh, you know what they say about us Gobbo girls? We're a dime a dozen. Anyways. What, really? I mean, I like you too. When we were like in the middle of it, I wanted it to last, even if it didn't really mean anything. No, I swear, I'm not trying to put you down. I, ju I just don't want to make things more complicated if we want different things. I don't want to share you. It would hurt too much. I guess what I'm saying is I want to make this official. <laughs> oh gosh. Do that thing where you pick me up. I hope my bed is big enough. I know I have an awful lot of plushies. I'm a sucker for a cuddle puddle. But I guess we can move those to the shelf since, you know, we'll have you. I know we're basically already in our underwear, but if you wanted to wear more or less, just get comfortable. All right? Do you mind if I snuggle in? I can't stop touching you. And your arms wrap around me and gives me goosebumps. <laughs> You're so cozy. When you play with my hair. It makes me feel like... Hey! I see you two peeking. Scram! I'm sorry. My best friends are basically the worst. But I'd have chickened out a hundred times without them egging me on. I'll make you a full goblin breakfast in the morning. We'll have the place to ourselves if we get up before noon. That'll be nice. Normal. A little private. And if you get hungry in the night, be sure to wake me up. I don't want you wandering next door. I want to take care of you. <sighs> All by myself. Hmm. 
hold me a little longer until I fall asleep. Until I can be sure this isn't all a dream. Mm-hmm.